hello beautiful people welcome to my channel and we gotta get ready with me because i'm going out i feel like i put my frontal too far forward but you know when you're just too far gone like the hair is stuck down so we're just gonna have to leave it here i don't know if this looks wild or not but it is what it is i just wanted to do a frontal today because i just felt like it looks cute or whatever but i'm gonna put it down after i finish my so anyway, how is everyone? How are you all? First things first, we're gonna go into foundation. And guys, I was looking through my makeup to see what type of makeup, what, what what can I use, what can I use? And today I'm actually going into a trusty goodie, but an old one. And it is the Estee Lauder Double Way Foundation. Guys, this is brand new and I have not used it. And I've had this, I've had these for a hot minute, like a hot minute. So we're gonna actually try it. The shade that I'm in is this Rich Cocoa. I don't know if Rich Cocoa is still gonna be my shade. Ooh. If it's still gonna be my shade but we're gonna try it anyway it's been a while i haven't used rich coca since uni and guys i've been what is it three years post uni now but i saw this and i was like oh this might be a bit too light hmm i don't know why it might be a bit too light guys i majorly broke out on my face there so i'm going through transitioning you guys know i never break out like whatsoever I think I've been working too hard to be honest with you. Working too damn hard. Next, I'm gonna go into some, 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 well, 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 hello, hello, hi. So next I am gonna go into my MAC Studio Fix Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer and this is the shade NW50. Yeah, so I'm gonna just put this around the darker areas of my face. So yeah, can you guys see? Oh. I'm gonna lay a small, small sit on my face. I think the, the foundation might have been a bit too light. Um, I don't think I'm much quicker anymore. I don't understand why I don't know I think I just like to go into warmer tones for my um, for my foundations now I don't know rich cocoa just doesn't seem like it was it wasn't giving me the hua but thankfully I saved it with the matte concealer that's the thing like even if your foundation is just a little bit off you can save it through concealer lovely and yeah I'm, I'm, I've got a whole lot of product on my face like definitely a whole lot of product next we're gonna go into contour and i don't need to contour my forehead because my frontal is pretty low <laughs> my frontal is so low like and i am going into two shades i'm going into the fenty beauty bronzers cream bronzers cheeks out bronzer and i'm going into shade chocolate and toffee teas because we need a whole lot of contour on our face. I'm going to do a bit into the chocolate, just a little bit on the lighter side. And then we're just going to go into the darker shade which is the Toffee Tees, which I just like to use a small amount. And just slide a little bit down on the nose. And then I'm going back into the 24 hour concealer, but in a lighter shade. And um, this is, was accidentally bought, I bought it by accident. And I'm going into NC50 because I was meant to buy NW450, but I don't know why, I just thought that for some reason it was NC50. So I do like the formula of these concealers. So I'm just gonna add a small bit just to lighten it up. I don't wanna do too much because I am gonna add on a lighter concealer. And if I do too much here, it's just gonna, it's just gonna crease and my makeup is just not gonna look snatched with the light concealer. So we're just gonna blend that out just to give us slight brightness. So I'll show you guys. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, this color's pretty. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be like a daytime when I'm just going out in the day. So can you see the brightness there just underneath the eye? Love it. Absolutely love it. I love it. I just love it. And the concealer that I'm using is the Jouer Concealer in Rich Ginger. And this is a much, much lighter colour. And I'm not gonna 
I'm gonna try not use too much. I'm gonna try not to use too much. But I'm just bringing that onto my nose, a little bit onto my forehead. I'm gonna carve out underneath my eyebrows as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix NC50 with the Jouer Concealer to give me a nice under eye without it being too bright and too harsh on the skin. Oh, they be together. set the concealer with my Chanel um, powder this powder has literally been my new go-to powder I absolutely love the shade and I've got it in the shade number three um, would I go lighter no I think this is the perfect shade for me to be honest with you so I'm just gonna go into my powder just blot out any excess and just tap it underneath my eye I want to tell you like it just soaks up everything best powder literally i thought it was i thought my laurie mercier was the one but this is just proven that like ooh, it's a close it's a close one between the two of them well around the outer bit of my face i like to set it with a darker powder it's the beauty bakery setting powder and this is the shade brown or coca and i love using this to set around my face because this powder just it just makes it really really seamless and comes brings the look together after you have all this white powder on your face so what i do is i just pat it in again at the bottom so i pat off any excess and i just go around this bottom half here and i go around this bottom half here and I'll just add excess and just put it around the top there and then just bring it round to my neck and then up here as well just to balance out any bit there <laughs> and then to any excess I'll just use it to just blot over the whole face and then I'm gonna go into the MAC mineralized skin finish just to blend everything out and I'm going into deep dark and it's a really nice light mineralized powder just to reset everything and I just tap that onto my skin just to make sure everything is all blended down here I know you guys are thinking the face is looking really matte but we're gonna go in and we're gonna spray some mist over it and I'm going into my trusty Morphe setting mist because I could not live without this mist, it's just perfect. And the way it just has a nice mist all over your face, and can you see how my face has gone from being really matte to just looking just a little less matte but more flawless. I'm going to go into contour and I'm going into the Hula Toasted Contour. Uh, and they provide this cute little brush and I'm just gonna add that this is a bronzer however I find that this bronzer can actually be quite um, harsh not harsh but it's more like a contour for me anyway so I'm just gonna use this and just sweep it up lovely okay, and can you guys see what that has given a little bit here a little bit over here and then we'll just use it for down here just to smooth out the face and afterwards I do like to go in with a bronzer you guys know I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami because I'm literally getting my nails into everything guys I love these nails but I can't do anything I can't type at work I can't do, I, I it's, they're, they're bad B nails but they're really I can type at work but it's just more effort and more dedication and time that I need to like focus on the what I'm typing Guys, no, I love layering on my bronzers and powders. So going into the Revolution Splendor Bronzer, I love this shade. So I'm just gonna pat that onto my cheeks as well. You can never have too much bronzer. You can never go wrong with bronzer. They're looking more like contour. <laughs> it's all coming together. 
It's all coming together. We're gonna look like a baby. Yeah. Yeah. So going on to my brows, I'm gonna go into the Benefit Cur Brow because this is literally the only thing that I will use. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Like, the way that it does my brows, <laughs> I'm lucky because I'm blessed with brows, but just that end bit, snatched. Like, snatched. And then to set my eyebrows, I'm gonna go into the 24 hour Benefit Cabral, which is like a clear setting gel. Oof, the way it just, it just sets everything so nicely. Just get those hairs up, looking correct. And it just blends, it literally blends everything so well. Like this is a must for your eyebrow products. Definite must. We've got the bronzer on, but we need some blush. And I'm going into Daiquiri Dip by Fen and Beauty. Fenty Beauty, baby. Fenty Beauty. And I'm just going to place that onto my cheeks. Okay, guys. I have put on some mascara because my camera battery died and I didn't realise. I was like, oh my gosh. Highlight I'm going to go into is the mimi um my mimi extra dimension extra dimension finish highlighter and i'm also going to use the drugstore one as well and that is the strobe highlighter from revolution which is just like the perfect gold, the gold, perfect gold, perfect gold. so i'm just going to add a bit of this one and then i'm going to go into so you can see that light reflex the key is to layer your highlighters, bronzers, just, just layer them. Oh my gosh, I'm having trouble opening this. This is like literally crumbled, but it is what it is. Okay, that's good. Okay, ooh, this is really glistening today. The glisten for me. Okay, these are cute. These are very big. What's that to be one? I'll still wear them. Because <laughs> you know me, like, I don't shy away from a big lash, but goddamn, these are huge. Anyways, I'm just going to add a strobe highlighter into the inner tear ducts. Now, we are going on to our lips, and the lips that I'm going to be wearing is the Dose of Colours. I literally found this and I was like, oh my gosh, I remember those of colours. I'm actually going to use this to line my lips. And this is in the shade Chocolate Wasted because that's the shade. That's the name of the shade. I'm going to let that dry slightly. And I'm going to put on another lipstick. Oh, on top, in the middle section, I went into my trusty dose of colors again and it is the matte liquid lipstick in the shade knock on wood so yeah dose of colors i just i love i love their liquid formulas they're not drying and they're actually very 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 comfortable yeah yeah so next we're gonna go on to hair because we need to sort out all this all this hair that's on top, sitting on top of my head oh my god i just gotta style this and I'm thinking curly guys, I'm actually thinking curly, so I'm gonna get my hair curler and we're gonna go onto the hair because my hair is straight at the moment and we don't want straight hair, we want bouncy, we want waves, you know what I mean, waves. So this is pretty much the finished look. I've got this really cute on Zara blazer that I got from Zara. <laughs> and I'm gonna just add a little bit of gloss because I just can't. So like, you by the door? Guys, we are on our way to the Ivy. Uh uh, whose music is that? That music is loud. And I'm with the Bussy Dearest smile for the camera. And we are on our way. We were running. We're running late, aren't we? I'll be late. Are we gonna be late? No, we're gonna be okay. Okay. 
yeah so we're gonna drive there because it's just easier and there's parking and it just makes life so much sense but yeah this is my makeup you guys can see in natural light <laughs> 